getting you know top five NFL quarterbacks like it's I don't think any flight is the same honestly so but it's always fun you back with Packers guys huh Fred Favre Aaron Rodgers though they have there for you I I throw my two cents in every time we talk so yeah that's my guys <laughs> who's your top five oh top five uh, I hate to say it with Tom Brady um mm, Peyton Manning Aaron Rodgers, Mahomes, Brett Favre. Yeah. So fun. Yep. You, said, you said you guys watch shows. Is there is there like a show that the whole Celtics team is like, yeah, that's that's our show? Like, is there any so, favorite? a lot of guys have watched Game of Thrones. I'm not one of those guys who has watched it, but I know a lot of us have also watched Yellowstone. I'm a big Yellowstone fan, so those are two heavy talking points, I would say. Um, so we can't wait for the second part of this last season to come off for Yellowstone. I know that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How I play. Uh, certain guys take chances. Certain guys are, are bad gamblers, uh, in my opinion. Anybody? You nah, I'm not that? throwing names, but <laughs> I know that I, I'm I'm sitting pretty good right okay, now. Okay. Okay. And then yeah. Sam also mentioned, and I think Drew talked about it too, that you guys a lot of people watch House of Dragon. Sam mentioned you y'all watch Yellowstone. Is there, like, are those the two main shows that a bunch of you guys watch? Or, you know, yeah. Uh, Al's in the middle of uh, watching Game of Thrones right now, so a lot of us have seen that. Uh, I just we watched uh, Yellowstone with uh, my fiance, my, my brother, for like the third time. So I went through and watched that also. I love that show, um, but yeah. Has he gotten to the Red Wedding yet? Al? Yeah. Uh, I don't, he's, he's gotten, he just got to the part where uh, Jon Snow died for the first time. That's that. I hate lots of Chinese fans knowing you by the juggling from the garage. Can you talk about the story? Uh, just like how it started? Yeah. Uh, it's just. We were in the middle of COVID, and uh, I, I really had nothing to do, so I was dribbling out every day anyway, jump roping, stuff like that. Um, and then we decided to just film it one day, not thinking anything of it, like, and then it just went viral. People liked the handle, and uh, it's just, it's something I could have done a long time ago if, if it would have went viral like that, because uh, I've been able to do that for a long time. Thank you. Said and it sounded weird at first, but actually, I'm smart. Uh, I don't, I can't think of anything on like the top of my head, but I think like a lot of stuff he says is like you know, maybe we haven't heard it before in that way, but like he's very smart in his approach and uh, he wants to win, and, and like we are behind that, and uh, everybody believes in what he's saying, so that's very powerful. He's talked about how when you're closest to winning, it's also when you're the closest to losing. Has he talked to you guys about that as you're up too low? And For sure, because I think uh, it's, a, it's a, like a deeper message than what it sounds like. It's like, you know, you're not letting your mind drift to like uh, taking your foot off the gas. Yeah. Like when you're that close, people can let up and that's when you can get the, the best of you. So it's like being that close, how do you go harder and like take it to another level? So how has he prepared you guys? Just reminding us of uh, what the mindset is going to have to be. I think it's like we're all physically prepared. We put in the work, but like mentally, it's like how can we stay locked in and uh, be ready for it? Don't start looking ahead. Don't start. No, sure. We we only focus on on uh, this next game ahead and trying to win this next one. What part of the Derek's game do you think is most unappreciated? It's a lot of things. Uh, it's hard. That's a tough one. Though. Uh, I mean, defensively, his, like people are like you know starting to really notice his uh, ability to block shots at his guard position. So that's really amazing. But his, his ability to like fill the game in a lot of different uh, areas and what the team needs is it's very special. You know, he can handle the ball, make the right play, or play off the ball, set screens, come off the ball, like off the ball screen. So it's just. He's very versatile. Is that something that you notice right away, or does he kind of? He seems like the kind of teammate that grows on you. Like you grow to appreciate him more and more. Did you play, uh, did you play I would, him? I would say that. Um, I think it's just been nice to see, like when when Derek first got here, you know, came from the Spurs, and it, it's hard to like get used to things right away. So once he got comfortable, his confidence grew, like he took off, and it's been unbelievable to see. And it, he's a special player. Y, y estando ahí muy pendiente de él. Y ese ha sido el trabajo, ese ha sido el reto. Eh, no ha sido fácil, pero hemos hecho un buen trabajo, pero entendemos que, eh, 
que todavía tenemos mucho por delante y ahora tenemos esta oportunidad en el partido 3 de, de, de tratar de continuar haciendo un gran trabajo. Yeah, for us it's just continuing to, to do what we've been doing all year, uh, being consistent on the defensive end, uh, on offense, playing the way that we want to play, and, uh, and just being consistent. You know, our team has been this, you know, all season, and, uh, and you know, now we have a great opportunity in game three uh, to come in here, and, uh, and we understand that it's not going to be easy, it's going to be a very, very tough game. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with, with, with KP. You know, I'm, I hope I'm, I know he's going to do everything he can to be out here with us. Um, but our guys are ready. You know, our guys are ready. Um, there's nothing to be said. Uh, our guys are ready for the opportunity if their name is called. Um, una, una más en español. Hay, este, estos por social media de NBA Latinoamérica hay muchos chicos en tu querida dominicana, hay muchos niños en toda Latinoamérica que seguramente es un ejemplo para ellos. ¿Qué les dirías? Eh, bueno, les diría que si son fans de básquet continúen practicando, que, que sigan esforzándose, sigan trabajando. Es importante los estudios porque eso les va a abrir muchas puertas a ellos. Eh, y que sigan soñando, que yo eh, estuve en esa posición una vez cuando era más joven y, y gracias a Dios tuve esta oportunidad de poder eh, llegar a los Estados Unidos y estudiar acá y estar en este nivel. ¿Y seguir soñando todavía? Siempre, hay que seguir soñando. Sí, sí.